In this video, I'm going to show you how to take this $9 Harbor Freight bike lift and add this wheelchair motor to it to make a motorized bike lift to help save you some elbow grease, well, help you get organized. If you like this channel, make sure you hit the thumbs up sign and subscribe to my channel, Duct Tape Mechanic. I was able to pick up this wheelchair motor off of Facebook Marketplace for five bucks. Uh, these motors are um, high torque and they work great. However, I wanted to run out, I wanted to run this off of 12 volts, so I had to remove the electromagnetic brake. Um, this can be done by unbolting some screws, but uh, since uh, this particular one had uh, a fairly amount of rust build up on the screws, I had to use my angle grinder. After removing the electromagnetic brake, I hooked it up to my 12 volt 5 amp power supply that I'll be using for the project and uh, tested it out. It appears that the motor is working fine and drawing about 3 amps without a load, which should be fine. I assembled the manual bike lift pretty much per instructions, except I didn't thread it through the self-locking mechanism, which is used in the manual mode. I cut a piece of conduit tubing and drilled two holes into it. Then I took the other end of the nylon tubing from the lift and threaded it through the tubing and bolted it to the drive shaft of the motor. Then I went and mounted the motor and lift assembly to the rafters of the shed using lag screws. Once the mounting was complete, it was on to the wiring. For the wiring of the project, I used a latching double pull double throw switch. In the middle two terminals are used for the power supply while the other terminals are connected using an X pattern to reverse the polarity. I use an old extension cord to run to the motor and then I threw everything together in a single electrical box, a single switch electrical box. This is the wiring all finished. So the, I think the switch came out pretty, pretty nice. I've got the extension cable, which contains the, the wires coming from the motor, going through the rafters of the shed and to the motor. That's the bike hanging there. And back to the switch. I've hooked it to a 12 volt, 15 amp power supply. For now, this will do. I'll see if I want to um, hardwire this in later. It's just coming down here and uh, it plugs into the outlet here. All right. It's uh, time to give this a test. Uh, we've got the the hooks on the seat of the bike and on the front over here. Everything looks okay. Now all we got to do is uh, flip the switch over here. And uh, there she goes. Creating a lot of room below for storage and saving you some elbow grease trying to pull this bike up. So you can get it to the where you like it, then turn the switch off 
and then if you want it to go back down all you got to do is put the switch back down and uh, there she goes And that's it.